Okay, I made a mistake and my banana bread got a little burnt on the bottom. And I didn't want to serve it like that. So I cut the bottom off and I thought, I'm going to make some of those cake pops. <laughs> so I decided I'm just going to wing it and see if it works. And it did. So that's why I'm recording this. Um, I made this amazing banana bread and I'll post the recipe and if I can find the link, I'll post that too. But I made the banana bread and then to mix with it, I didn't have any, you know, of the store-bought frosting. I don't like that stuff anyway. So I made my own frosting and I'll post that recipe too. And then I thought, then I'll, I'll cover it in white chocolate. So I went to Sam's today and I bought some of this. And no, they're not paying me to tell you this. Maybe they should, but they're not. Anyway, I got this. And I think this was like $10, but it's worth it. Okay, so what you do is I scooped them all and I used um, pardon me. I used this scoop right here. And I just put them all on here. And, you know, the things I make aren't always pretty, but they're usually very delicious. And so people don't care if they're pretty. So this is what you do, all right? You take these and you microwave these for like 30 seconds. And it's gonna take a whole bag. And this is one and a half um, loaves of banana bread but it will definitely take a whole one of these. So I've done some, here's what they look like. I, I put them all together last night and I froze them on wax paper and I made this and a whole nother tray. So I've been doing this and of course the whole time I'm doing dipping, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I've got to tell these people. So I'm gonna show you what to do. So what you do, I've learned, is you take a fork and a spoon. And you go over here, these are frozen, right? And put it over here in your melted, amazing chocolate. And you just do this, right? Something easy. And then let it drip like that. And it goes right like that. Look at that, look at that. And oh my goodness, they are so good. I tested one just a little bit ago. And what I thought I could do is, you know, if you want to, when it's wet like this, you could just put some chopped pecans on it if you think everybody's gonna like pecans. Or what I'm gonna do is take this white chocolate and just put a little bit of yellow um, frosting coloring I have just and do it like little strips over the top of it with and I'm not very fancy so I'm gonna do it with a Ziploc bag and just cut the corner of the Ziploc bag and do it that way I might show you how I do it it may completely be bad but anyway we're gonna give it a go but these look so good okay so I'm gonna post the banana bread recipe the frosting recipe um, and I just froze the mixture. I put it in my, my um, mixer over here. And I put it all together and made it really mushy. And I scooped it out like this. And I put it in the freezer overnight. And so now I'm working with it. And I'll let you know what the finished product is. But, oh my goodness, you want to do this. And it's not going to matter if they're ugly because they will be eaten. We have discovered a little problem, and that problem is that these stick. And I didn't know what to do with that because I would normally put them on wax paper, but and I tried, but then the chocolate would just go everywhere and I would lose a bunch of chocolate. So, bring out the hair dryer. I know. But listen, it worked. So, what you do, <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Or maybe you can use pops, the sticks, and that will work too. But anyway, we just tried this and put it on low and they came off just fine. 
and now they're over here, okay? Anyway, it's making, I don't know, 80. They're amazing. Okay, just thought I would tell you that before you got in my position. Okay, so what I did was I took some of the white chocolate and I just put a little bit of food coloring in there. And I'm going to, um, and I put it in a, a Ziploc. And you just, well, this is what I do. I put, I'm sorry, I put tape over it like this. And then I just cut a little bitty, 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 bitty corner right there. And then I drizzle. It turned out, okay, I'll show you in a minute. Not too bad. I tell you, they're not pretty. But you know what? Nobody cares because they're going to be so delicious. Okay, so we'll just do this until it runs out. And I'm hoping I can do all this at the same time. So see, I'm just drizzling a little bit of yellow. Yeah, there. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Nah, well, see, you're supposed to probably do wispies like shh, 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 like that. See there? Isn't that neat? Look at there. See? Yay. Okay. So there you go. Now y'all go do this with all of your things that have um, that are delicious, but they're just burnt on the bottom. You just take that cake and you mix it with the frosting and you have a wonderful time. And you make a beautiful thing out of something that you thought was completely ruined. See there? And you will be a hero, kitchen hero. Okay, bye. Okay, there they are. They turned out really, really good. Look at that, look at that. From some mistake and turned out great. And you go save those recipes. You too can be a superhero kitchen woman and man person. Anyway, so now don't you let anybody tell you different. You are awesome in the kitchen. Now go make it great. Oh, I missed one. Look at that. We'll have to eat that one. All right, like and subscribe as my teenagers say. Comment too. I love your comments. Okay, talk to you later.